So in this video, I'm going to show you how to mine Monero or XMR cryptocurrency on an Android smartphone. I'm not suggesting that you should do this, I'm just going to show you how to do it in case you want to experiment with mining or get your hands on some cryptocurrency without having to buy it through an exchange. Just to be clear, nobody is going to get rich by mining crypto on a cell phone. On the bright side though, it is a way to get some use out of an old or broken phone. It doesn't matter if your screen is cracked or if you've got no cell coverage, as long as you can connect to Wi-Fi, you can use it for mining. First, you're going to need a wallet, so that you have somewhere to store the cryptocurrency that you mine. There are lots of wallets available on the Google Play Store, but for this video, I'm going to be using Atomic Wallet. Open the Play Store and type Atomic Wallet into the search box. Tap on Install and then tap Open. Once Atomic Wallet opens, tap Create New Wallet and you'll be asked to set a password. Choose a password that will be easy for you to remember and then tap Set. Type your password again and then tap Confirm. Now you'll be given a 12 word backup phrase. Be sure to write these words down and keep them somewhere safe as without them you'll no longer have access to your cryptocurrency. Once you've done that, tap Start using Atomic and Atomic Wallet will open. Now we need to install a terminal emulator called Termux. The recommended method is to download the APK from the official FDroid website or from GitHub, both of which are linked down below. But for the sake of simplicity, in this video I'll be installing Termux from the Google Play Store. Open the Play Store and type Termux, T-E-R-M-U-X, into the search box. Then tap Install. Once Termux has been installed, tap on the icon to run it. Now, the first thing we need to do is update the packages. Type apt update ampersand ampersand apt upgrade. Hit enter and Termux will download and install the latest packages. Now we need to install three new packages. Git, Build Essential and CMake. We'll need these packages to compile XMRig, which is the program that will be doing the mining. Type pkg install git build hyphen essential cmake hyphen y tap enter and the packages will be downloaded and installed now it's time to install and build xm rig which is the program that will be doing the actual mining type git clone https colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash xm rig forward slash xm rig dot git this will download the latest XMRig package from GitHub. Once it's finished, we need to run apt upgrade again. Type apt upgrade, tap enter, answer Y when asked if you want to continue, and answer Y to all of the prompts. Now move to the newly created XMRig folder by typing CD XMRig and tapping enter. Now we need to create a build folder to use in building XMRig. Type mkdir build and tap enter. Then change to the directory you just created by typing cd build. Next we need to run cmake. Type cmake period period hyphen dwith underscore hwloc equals off and tap enter. Once that's finished we need to run make. Type make hyphen j10 and tap enter. Make will begin to compile the XMRig program and after a while you should see a message saying build target XMRig. This means that the XMRig program has been successfully compiled and it's ready to be run. Before mining you need to choose a pool to mine with. There are many Monero pools to choose from but for this video I'm going to be using Monero Ocean. I'll link to the Monero Ocean website down in the video description. The pool address is gulf.moneroocean.stream and the port number is 10128. Make a note of this address as you'll need it in the next step. You'll also need your Monero wallet address. To find this, open Atomic Wallet and type XMR into the search box. 
Tap the XMR icon, then tap Receive to bring up your address. Tap Copy to copy the address to your clipboard. Switch back to the Termox app and we're ready to start mining. To connect to the pool and begin mining, type period forward slash XMRig hyphen O, then the pool name and port number separated by a colon, which is gulf.moneroocean.stream colon 10128 hyphen a random x hyphen u followed by the wallet address which you can paste from the clipboard by tapping and holding until the pop-up menu appears and then selecting paste and finally hyphen p followed by your username the username can be anything you like i'm just going to use my phone now you can just tap enter and xm rig will connect to the pool and begin mining after a while you should start to see green messages saying accepted. This means that you are submitting valid shares to the pool. Once you have a few valid shares, to see how much you've earned so far you can open the Monero Ocean website, copy your wallet address from Atomic Wallet and paste it into the box on the website where it says your Monero address. When you tap enter you'll be able to see how much you've earned so far. The payout threshold on Monero Ocean is 0.3 Monero. Once you've accrued that much, you'll be paid automatically to your Monero wallet address. If you want to reduce the payout threshold and get paid quicker, you can tap the settings icon and type a new payout threshold, down to a minimum of 0.003. To make things easier, you can create a shell script to start mining without having to type your pool and wallet address every time. To do this, type nano start mining .sh. this will create a new text file called start mining .sh and open it in the nano text editor copy the command that you use to start mining and paste it into this text editor you can then save it by holding ctrl and tapping o and you'll be asked for the file name to write leave it as start mining .sh and then tap enter to save the file now you can quit the text editor with ctrl and x now we need to make the shell script we just created executable. To do this, type chmod plus x start mining.sh and tap enter. Now to begin mining, you can just type period forward slash start mining.sh and xmrig will run, connect and begin mining. To stop mining at any time, you can either just quit the Termux app or use Ctrl and Z on the on-screen keyboard. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for now, thanks for watching.